Here I'm asked to find the horizontal intercept for each of the given problems. So remember that the horizontal intercept has the characteristic of an ordered pair that starts with some value of x and then ends with 0. Because we're on the horizontal axis, there's no vertical movement. So all the, or all the ordered pairs on the horizontal axis will have this form. So the first part is the input that we need to find, and the second part is 0. What that means for us then with these equations is that we're going to replace the output with 0. So 0 equals negative 2x plus 5 in this first problem. To isolate x, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. When I do that, I get negative 5 equals negative 2x. Now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. And negative divided by negative is a positive, so I get 5 halves equals x. I can rewrite that as x equals 5 halves. To get a decimal, 5 divided by 2 will give me 2.5. To write my result as an ordered pair, the input goes first and the output is 0. For part b, I have a function f of x equals 2 minus x, but remember I can replace f of x with y. So f of x in its entirety stands for output. So I'm replacing the entire output, which would be y or f of x, with 0. And then I'm solving for x. The easiest way to isolate x in this problem is to add x to both sides. That might seem a little bit backwards, but let's see what happens. When I add x to both sides, the right-hand side becomes 0, and I'm left with x equals 2, which is my final result. To write that as an ordered pair, the input comes first, the output is 0 for the horizontal intercept. Looking at part c, I'm going to replace g of x with 0 equals 3 fourths x plus 2. And I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. And that's going to give me a negative 2 equals 3 fourths x. I want to multiply both sides by 4 thirds because that's going to clear this fraction on the right hand side. So negative 2 times 4 thirds. And I'm going to go ahead and write the 4 thirds times the 3 fourths x on the right. So this product becomes 1. On the left hand side I get negative 8 over 3 equals x. So let me rewrite that here. x equals negative 8 over 3. And if I use my calculator and divide negative 8 by 3, I get negative 2.7. That's an approximation to the tenths place. Writing that as an ordered pair, I get negative 2.7, 0. Looking at part d, y equals 4x. Again, I'm going to replace y with 0. To solve for x, I technically divide 4 on both sides. So 0 divided by 4 is 0 equals, and then that reduces to 1. So x equals 0. My input is 0 and my output is 0, meaning that my horizontal intercept is 0, 0. Notice for this equation, that's also my vertical intercept. So that's kind of an unusual case where we get both of our intercepts with one solution process. For part e, if I set 0 equal to negative 6, well, 0 doesn't equal negative 6. That's a falsehood. So there is no horizontal intercept here for this function. And that's a horizontal line that does not pass through the x-axis. For the last one, y equals x, set y equal to 0, and I get x equals 0. So similar to what we had up here, the horizontal intercept is 0, 0. And in this case, that is also the vertical intercept.